Hello everybody and welcome to what will probably be the final part of Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum as I will not be doing challenge mode to get the remaining 21% uh, of the game completed. Although to be fair, I mean, challenge mode also includes Joker, but Joker was DLC, so um, I don't think he's included in the actual like 100% thing. But yeah, as far as Batman's challenge mode thing goes, you're just replaying, you know, like parts of the game that we already been through. So there are like combat challenges where you have to, you know, beat a certain number of uh, enemies or get like a certain multiplier for your combo thing. And then uh, other challenges where you have to, you know, just be real stealthy and uh, take out all the thugs without being seen. And yeah, you get rated or ranked on how well you do and all that stuff. I, I'm i going to be honest, I've never done Joker's challenge mode things. I mean, as you can tell by my other file, I haven't done all of the challenge mode things for Batman to begin with. But yeah, Joker, he was like special DLC for the PS3 version of this game. And yeah, he has his own little challenge mode thing. So maybe as a little bonus video for this, I might do a Joker challenge or two. But Batman, since it's essentially what we did in the main game, I won't be showcasing that. Sorry. But aside from that, let's go ahead and beat the game, shall we? And yep, here we are. First person view. Batman moves pretty freaking fast in first person. I'm not going to lie. Holy crap, this is like doom speed. What the hell? Okay. Interesting. One, two, three, and four were empty. Are you excited, Bats? I mean, we've been building up to this point all night. Don't tell me you've not been looking forward to it. I know I have. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, even if you go all the way back to the door you came from, the explosion still, you know, does that to you. My God, the ear ringing. Like, d did they really have to be, like, that accurate? That was kind of getting to me. Oh, boy. Also, wow, my mic is peaking. Is this better? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay. Wow, I had the sensitivity up. Like, I don't know how it went up that far. I, I gotta keep checking that because for some reason, it's like my mic sensitivity goes up every now and then. Just out of nowhere. All right, still first person. Oh, never mind. The bat suit has seen better days. Scarface! Hey, be nice to Scarface. Ooh, that's a tightened up officer. You had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby, by the way, and ruining all my lovely venom plants. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. 
Oh boy. Looks like it's about to be a Titan fight. A double Titan fight. It's not like we haven't done one of these before. So I'm just going to go ahead and let them take out a few guys. That was not the correct button. Wait, what is Batarang? All right, there we go. That's quick Batarang. Okay. I kind of... Okay. I kind of want to restart, actually, because I'm... I am... Th this is not going well at all. I am channeling my inner Christopher Walken impersonation. Staying away from the goons. Okay. Now let's attack you a bit and get hit by somebody else. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Let's actually play with some semblance, yes, of competency. Let's go to the other Titan, do some damage. There we go. Okay. And now I can go and take this Titan. Ha ha. Strategy. This is actually very freaking smart. <laughs> I am not going to lie. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Okay. All right, let's run to him. I am... I was not running to him. The throne was in my way. How dare you throne? I was pressing triangle there. Oh, I forgot. The guards... I mean, the thugs keep on coming. Yeah, I, I think I might just take the game over and uh, restart. Because, um... That was... Very poorly handled. Cute. Little bats are sleeping. Someone finish him off. Okay, patience is the name of this game. Although, like, you do want to hurry up and like just grab one of them. If I can knock him down. Yes. Okay. No. There we go. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I can make this work, I can make this work, I can make it work. Did not make that work nearly as much as I would have liked. Can one of them charge at me, please? Yeah, it's best to just wait for like these grunts to try and do something and then just simply counterattack them. I did not hit him with the Batarang. Oh, I was not even paying attention to him. Okay. Come on, just take out this guy. Okay. No, no, take, yes. All right. Well, I can probably knock this guy, this Titan down. Ah, so close. Okay. I tried to jump out the way. Oh, wait, that one's down. That one's down. That one's down. That one's down. No. No. The Titan. Oh, my God. All these thugs are in the way. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, no, that's right. You gotta do a combo. I was trying to subdue. I was trying to do, like, R, R2 and triangle, or R1 and triangle, whichever one it is. I have to be, like, 
so careful. That was close. Okay. All right. No. Okay, come on, hurry up, take out the Titan. Yes! That was a close one. Now I just gotta take out, oh, never mind. I thought I had to take him out. Okay, cool. to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it giggling in a corner and bleeding but you denied me even that I have nothing to live for so <clears throat> yep that just happened Yeah. Yeah. You can probably see where this is going. The final boss of this game is in fact Titan Joker. Also, how is Joker still sentient when the other little inmates weren't? I mean, to be fair, Bane still regained like some of his human consciousness in his little juiced up form. So yeah, this is the final boss fight. And yes, it is very lame. Also, you want to stay away from the electric gates. Because they are electric. 
just want to stay away from the presence that Joker will throw at you. This boss fight sucks, by the way. It it really does. Because essentially we're, we are just going to keep fighting waves of thugs. And, um... Yeah, like, just... This is a bad final boss fight. And also, yeah, you want to watch out for the teeth. I guess you can incapacitate them. Oh, God, that... I am not doing so hot here. Come on, just counter. Okay. My rhythm is down too. Oh, great. Eh, whatever. At least I managed to take him out. Did that hurt me? Oh, wait. No, I'm supposed to... Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to... Okay, I remember. I screwed up. Well, looks like I'm going to have to go through a, another little wave of enemies here. I was pressing triangle, but okay. Well, at least I managed to take out that thug. Okay. If I sound bored, that's because this fight sucks. Okay. Oh, he's already out. Oh, come on. All right, fire the back claw. Because, yeah, he has to get distracted by Jack Ryder's helicopter, and... Yeah. Oh, and that's one-third of his health. Just a three-punch combo. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, they actually fully heal you. That's... Nice. And now more thugs. Oh great, we got one of these. Okay. Okay, well, at least it managed to knock out some people. I really have nothing much to say about this. Yeah, I'm just... This is happening. This is also highly boring. <laughs> I'm just trying to knock out the... There we go. Let me just go ahead and knock him out. Nope, not today. Come on. Well, 
well, he's distracted, so let's go ahead and use the back claw. I mean, bat launch. No, bat, bat claw. That, that's what it is. I am just so not into this fight is just so disappointing. I mean, Scarecrow, his encounters were interesting and neat. Uh, Poison Ivy had a special fight. And granted, Harley Quinn... Oh, great. Harley Quinn was just, you know, like... A, um... Just a standard, you know, destroy all enemies thing. But, I mean, this is just stupid. Oh, great. Oh, I thought I had to do something there. Are these just regular? Oh no, there, there's a guy with shock sticks. Oh wait, no. Some I, what, 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 what did I screw up there? Tonight, Gotham, I have defeated your dear dark. What, what, what did I screw up there? Was I supposed to hit that little fuse box thing? Whatever, I've forgotten. Oh, Lord. Let's get ready to okay, well, I need to remember, like, what to do in that um, third portion. Because restarting this fight is not fun times. So that's how you easily avoid everything. Oh, guns. That's what was probably killing me. Okay. Just need to watch out and not jump into that. Whatever. Come on, just. Okay, well, that guy was knocked out. And now. Let's end this. This is such an anticlimactic way to end the game, but I mean, this fight is horrible. Honestly, I would have preferred if they just ended on the two Titan fight. This was bad. I will admit, that was actually a smart idea, putting the explosive gel on your fist. Though, that must not feel good for your fist. Like, how is your hand... Well, those must be some powerful back gloves then, because the explosion should have taken off your hand, but whatever. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim. 
but I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it. Stay safe, Jim. So you would have thought Two Face would have acted earlier than is like, wait, Batman's taking care of some stuff at the asylum? Hey, I can go ahead and rob a bank, but no, he waited too long and now Batman is probably on his way to stop him. But yeah, that's the game. That's the game. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a really fun game and it's really good up until that final boss fight. Hell, they could have just figured out a way to end with Poison Ivy and that would have been fine, but... Yeah, that Joker fight really brings you down a bit. It just does. I'm <laughs> like I'm I'm just kind of defeated by that. I, I went into this, you know, ready to have fun. And I did remember the final fight being a letdown, but wow playing through it again is like it's just horrid. It's flat out horrid, but at least we get these nice little stylized credits right here. They look nice, see all the people that made the game, and yeah, I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. I mean, overall, this is a really, really good game, and you know, they had the basis for something really good to make a series off of it, but that final fight, it just, oh my god, it's like, it's really weird, and I know that it's like just something to bring up but I don't know it's like I'm trying to find a way to put this into words the final fight almost ruins the game uh, emphasis on almost all right now they're just repeating slides this is ridiculous but I mean to be fair the rest of the game itself is great aside from uh, the Killer Croc section. Hell, they could have even had like an actual fight against Croc and it would have worked out better, but eh, it is what it is. But there are quite a few games where it's like, it's really good, but the final boss fight, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. And in this sense, it kind of does. Cause I mean like, wait, in this sense, it kind of does. Okay, I'm just, I am just like making no sense whatsoever I think what I meant to say was it rings especially true for this game because I mean you know like a final boss fight that's the last thing you experience with the game I mean aside from the you know credits or maybe a final cutscene but I mean like that final boss fight is what sticks with you that's the last thing of that game and if it's a letdown it can actually decrease your opinion of said game and while I still love this game and, um, you know, cherish it as one of my favorite superhero games, that fight brings it down a bit. And like another game that kind of does that is Ultimate Spider-Man. All throughout, that game is really fun. But then the final fight in that game is boring and just flat out annoying. Because in a sense, like, you have your own health to worry about. There's also somebody you have to protect while taking out the actual boss of that game. And it's it's just a mess. It's a big mess. But overall, this is a really good game. And thankfully, they were able to improve upon the formula for uh, the sequels. Because, yeah, I mean, as good as this game is and as like nice of a, uh, like, what's where I'm looking for, framework it sets... There are some cons, because the combat is repetitive. You are just pressing one button to a rhythm. Um, and uh, you have no real incentive to use some of your other gadgets in battle. I guess I could have been using the Sonic Batarangs, but that has like a cooldown period. Same thing with the two or three Batarangs. And... Um, you know, like the boss fights, to be fair, there's not that much variety. Because really, the only boss fights are Poison Ivy and a Titan. Bane was a Titan. Like, even though he was just a Titan with a different skin, that was still a Titan fight. And then you have your regular Titan fights, the double Titan fights. And yeah, it's just the bosses are kind of a letdown. 
I guess you could consider Scarecrow a boss. Those sections were fun, but... Yeah, overall, there were some cons with this game. And like I said, they did improve upon them for the sequels, and that's always good. I mean, but that's what a true sequel should be. Like, it should improve upon, you know, whatever formula that the previous game set. I am so running out of steam on things to talk about now. Um... Oh, well, I guess I could just go ahead and reveal this. There are actually multiple endings, uh, but we won't see what ending we get until after the credits. Okay, well, post-credit ending or post-credit cutscene. Like, are they seriously doing the freaking German? Oh, my God. Okay, so this is Eidos, Germany. Um, you know, all the people that worked on the game from Germany. It's pretty great. Or are they just doing the Ubisoft thing where it's like they list everybody like who works for the company, including those that didn't even work on the game? Because at this point, it seems likely. But yeah, they're massive thanks to all of you in the PR, sales, marketing, finance, legal, and IT teams. Okay. But yeah, there are various post uh, credits cutscenes you can get. And by that, I mean three. And it leads directly into the sequel. But we're going to see that soon. One of these days. Dear God. The... Well, I guess it could be worse. I mean, like, what, Rayman Origins credits were, like, what, 20 minutes? Are they seriously listing sales? Oh, my God. What's next? A freaking janitor, too? The children that were born during the development cycle? I shouldn't say that, because, I mean, they could do it. Ubisoft does. I am not making that up. Like, they have a little section for, like, development babies or something. It's... Okay, well, there's the president, Martin Tremblay. Okay. Didn't they already do special thanks? Oh, no. Wait, no, that was Idols giving their special thanks. Now it's Warner Brothers. Um. So, yeah. I guess maybe I could shut up and speed up the credits, but to be fair, I mean, I'm also in, like, the little mindset that, you know, it's important to see who made the game, give them their due, and just, you know, respect the credits, but these are long. How much longer are they? Music composed. Oh my god, they're just now getting to the music. Okay, yes, DC Comics. Thank you. Oh my lord. They are listing the DC Comics folks, and they're giving their special thanks. Wild Storm Production? What? <laughs> they are... <laughs> they are listing everybody. I mean, yeah, that's a good thing to do, but... Oh my god, we're just now getting to the cast. I mean, yeah, that's good practice. Showcase everybody that helped make the game, but... Come on. Talent payroll? Well, anyway, Mark Hamill, Kevin Conroy, you know, they're redeeming their voices. Arlene Sorkin, Tom... Okay, well, I mean, if you're gonna do all... Th they're giving the cast... Oh, Cree Summer was pretty young. Well, I mean, yeah, that was her voice. What am I talking about? But yeah, it's like the cast. Oh, them. Yeah, we're barely giving you enough time to read all their names. Okay, if you hear clicking in the background, that's because I'm editing the Italian cast list. Okay, screw this. I'm just going to shut up and edit this other video and be quiet for these credits. Okay, I'll, I'll just speed up from here on out. Like, I, I cannot take this. I'm currently at the 41 minute mark of this recording. Let's see how much longer this goes. Oh, that's actually not not too much longer after I stop talking, like one minute. I might as well just keep that in normally then. I didn't Oh god. The <laughs> Alright, had the controller on the desk. That vibration took me off guard. But yeah, there's another crate of Titan left. And Scarecrow 
has his hands on it. Interesting. Anyway, we have unlocked the armored bat suit for use in challenge mode. So yeah, we have one more character trophy. All right, well two, Batman armored. Yep, that's the bat armor. Mm-hmm, yep, yep, yep. And Titan powered Joker. I cannot take you seriously. But yeah, Titan, he has his hands. Wait, what? No, Scarecrow, there we go. He has his hands on some Titan. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I wonder what happens if you mix Titan and Scarecrow gas. Hmm. Well, we'll find out one day if I ever LP Batman Arkham City. I don't know, Batman Arkham Asylum did well enough. I might consider City, we'll see. And yeah, I will just go ahead and say this now. Uh, the other alternate little post-credit movies you can get are um, Bane rising up out of the water, putting it like grabbing the Titan crate, or Killer Croc jumping out of the water and grabbing that Titan crate. So yeah, the lone Titan crate is always going to be floating by, but it's either going to be Killer Croc, Bane, or Scarecrow that gets their hands on it. And all three of them, like, e either way, no matter who gets it, it's, it's canon. The phone is seriously ruining this moment. Give me a second here. Okay, but as I was saying, no matter who grabs it, it's canon and it plays into the next game. Well, maybe not so much Killer Croc, but it directly plays into the next game as far as Bane and Scarecrow are concerned. I guess it does with Killer Croc, but it's really only mentioned with him and you see the results of his chaos as opposed to actually seeing him. But yeah, any one of these three with Titan in their possessions is going to be dangerous indeed. But all right, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching this LP and the incredibly long credit sequence, and I will see you next time with something else. Goodbye.